Let's go ahead and do this drive over here. This is, I mean, you can really feel that it's uh, tapping into Tesla Vision over here. It's disregarding a lot of stuff uh, it can't see lanes it's not really using a lot of map data and I find that I find that the, the usual case whenever we're doing internal roads maybe map data and internal roads is not very um, you know like it, it's not very good to, to rely on so that's why it probably taps into Tesla vision like this is all I feel like this is dead reckoning like it's just Noticing things are static, things are moving, and then it's behaving based on things on the uh, occupancy network. It'll be really interesting to see how neural nets is going to play with... Uh... So we're going to be going straight over here. So technically we have the right of way straight on. So let's see if it's going to go ahead... Oh, and we don't need to signal for that. That's gonna that's gonna confuse the cars. That's gonna confuse our cars here. Let's stop the signaling. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tap here. Yeah, that wasn't good. Like why would you signal though like it was it was really good staying there and waiting for the traffic light and then it started signaling to go left uh, those kind of things like we have to get rid of that's that's a safety issue to be honest because if we're signaling and then the car starts going ahead straight I mean it'll stop like what what you've seen right now it started creeping forward and then noticed cars are actually turning in front of us so it started uh, slowing down and stopping but yeah we shouldn't really confuse traffic like that not very good so here we go completely covered streets with snow this is really fresh snow that is just hitting the ground hours ago and accumulating and look how steady our trajectory is a straight line a little bit of a slowdown for that pedestrian yeah I mean if folks really like are thinking about if FSD better is usable in snow or not don't skip the stop sign stopping but a little bit too late i don't really understand the concept of that it's probably because it can't see um stop lanes or the, the stop line so yeah if folks are wondering if fsd better can drive in snow this is it like this is what you'll get right now bump down the autopilot speed few disengagements here and there getting a little bit too close to the curb but let's just keep giving that feedback back to the team and this thing will probably take off like anything. Didn't really detect that 30 kilometer speed zone. I think it was covered with way too much snow. And 30 kilometer speed zones are always on and off anyways in, in, in good conditions. But we are doing 34 so it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in our next destination here. I'm really loving this drive. We're slowing down a little bit here. I'm not really sure why, or oh, maybe because we're, yeah, it's probably because of uh, we're ending our waypoint. So let's see if it makes us right. It's gonna have to stop for those vehicles coming in from the left-hand side. 
as you can see on the fish. All right, so we're clear now. There's one more van that's coming right behind that other car that wants to go straight ahead. And we should be able to get the Comet over here. Here we go. And we got the release on the brakes. Very, very determined. Very determined. Release. And a nice Comet. Excellent. Really happy with that. Okay, this is really cool. So it, yeah, it's kind of seeing a few dots here and there of the lanes, of the dividing lines here. Yeah, it's still going left and right a little bit, uh, swaying a little bit left and right within its lane. So not too good. We still have the full self-driving maybe degraded, uh, poor weather detected notification down in the bottom left. We've had that for a while now. Okay, we're changing lanes here. Hopefully for a purpose. I think it is because we're doing a left after this intersection. I'm really hoping it'll stick to this lane here. It's not really centered very nicely also. So yeah. Uh, it's creeping into the next lane now. So once it sees the cars in front of us, it'll probably adjust itself. Here we go. There we go. You can see that right now. So once it sees those cars parked in a way, in those positions, it's kind of like a, oh yeah, I have to be behind that car to be in this lane. So there we go. Whoa. And we can't really change over there, buddy. There's nothing over there. So it thinks it's a lane, but it's literally just snow on top of uh, on top of the pavement. We've got a car coming up on our right-hand side. So now it should go behind that truck over there. Nice. Oh, a little bit too close there for that intersection. Uh, I mean, the pavement. There we go. Yeah, what, why is it doing that? Okay. Come on, buddy. You can do this. I've, I have faith in you. Yeah. Come on. Yes. All right. So there wasn't any cars behind me. That's why I obviously I stopped and let it take its time. But yeah, that wasn't a really good situation to be honest. But I want I want to correct it. This is like gold feedback. If anything, the FSD beta team and Elon Musk, like thank you guys for the software. It's amazing. It it's astonishing. Like to be honest, it's astonishing. I had a zero disengagement drive yesterday, nine kilometers. If you haven't seen that, I'll post the video over here on the top right. It was amazing. I never thought of my life. Like I, I knew it's gonna come, but it was so fast. Like I didn't know that in a year or less than a year even, I'll be able to sit in the car and just watch it drive me from one point to another without touching or without disengaging or anything. But obviously right now we do a lot of disengagements and corrections. Let me see where I am right now. I'll plug in our last destination and we'll probably... Let's try now. Okay. It just took me a little bit of time. So we've got a car coming up from the left and it can see it really. It's just uh, giving way for it. Nice, nicely executed. Awesome, awesome. And it was able to see it on the veg. So that's really cool. So yeah, I'm just routing us back home. I'm really hoping we can encounter a few cars. So we're gonna do a right 
and then there's a left and then another right and I'll just make my way back home from there but this will probably be maybe our last um, waypoint I don't want to run this video too long yeah it gets a little bit too widens up a little bit too much on this turn here still not too bad it's doing it itself so this is a yield over here it's actually stopping and yielding that's great it's clear on the right or on the left sorry notices there's a car with a pedestrian over there you can see it on the fish clearing their uh, the snow from their car awesome so much attention to detail all right it's creeping for this yield it's not really is it a yield i think it is it took a little bit too longer of uh too long time over there uh, in my opinion okay it's kind of struggling here a little bit we're actually going on the speed limit here 40 but i mean with uh with our adjustment here for uh, 15 kilometers an hour less well again the the sign again for the degraded full self driving getting into this parking area over here we don't need to do that buddy it's very good indication of the speed uh, of this street limits over here really like it it's kind of wishy-washy it's going away and coming back not too bad another person clearing their car it's kind of overcorrecting here for uh, for a little bit of a snow bank Okay, we're coming to a stop. We've got a car coming up on our left, but they're kind of far away. Ugh. Yeah, this wasn't good at all. Oh, I should have noticed that. We went over that snowbank over there. I don't think it's the, it's the limits of the road, but it's just, and that's the issue. It doesn't really see snow, so it kind of just went over it. Are we turning here? No, next one. Nice stopping here for this. Great, very good job. Okay, we've got the green light. Swaying a little bit left and right here. Can't really see the limit, so I'm gonna take over here. Come on, buddy, you can do it. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. All right. It's not giving me the... There we go. Alright, let's see how this turn's gonna go. It's gonna be pretty bad. We've got a lot of snow, like, caked up over there on the side. This is going to be a really, really hard one for FSD. And we've got a BMW behind us, so... <laughs> So they're pretty much gonna hate us. They already hate us. <laughs> Alright, that's just a that's just a joke. I know some folks out there have BMWs and are great people, so <laughs> notice even like the the traffic light in, at the intersection it's kinda covered with snow. So here we go. We've got the acceleration, it's giving us a stop wall for some reason. Get closer, yes. Oh my god, it does it! Nice! 
<laughs> I had zero confidence getting into that. And look at that, Chichi Glanes as well. Oh wow, all right. <laughs> what a change of confidence right there. And it's so confident, it's like pulling ahead and everything. Very cool. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that car was a BMW. I think the BMW kind of, yeah, they, they, uh, whoa, all right, <laughs> found the exit. <laughs> slow down, buddy, slow down, buddy, slow down, buddy. All right, I'm going to slow down here. This is a little bit dangerous. And this is a yield, so I'm going to wait for these cars to pass. Let's try and uh, engage over here, actually. Yeah, it's going to wait for them for sure. Here we go. Nice. Okay, cool. But yeah, like that, that left turn, holy crap, that was, that was something. It just like, it was so slow at the beginning and then it put like a, a stop wall like closer into the intersection. I was like, oh boy, here we go, it's gonna mess up. And then just lifts that up and then commits. And then all of a sudden takes the right, sharp right to continue on our, not, on our waypoint. That was insane. I've never seen it do anything like that <laughs> in these conditions. Holy crap, that was good. That definitely gave me the, um, hold on, I'm just gonna put my uh, my waypoint here. My last one. All right, so we were already engaged, sorry. Yeah, so um, that really gave me the confidence that, okay, there's actually maybe a little bit of improvement from the last few versions I've tried the FSD with with snow conditions, which was just a few, like I think it was a couple of months. We had a lot of snow in October for some reason, and then uh, it just stopped. <laughs> we had something, a little bit of uh, something, something in November, and then December was pretty much very dry. Ay, 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 it's getting too close here. Okay. Like it's fine, but I'm gonna engage it. There's nobody behind me, so. All right, I'm gonna go to push. It was probably doing it okay. I just I didn't want to risk it going close to the to the curb there on a turn. Could we could end up with a broken wheel? Yeah, and it's doing this thing over here. Okay, correcting itself now. Yeah, so there might be a little bit of improvement to be honest, um, especially around that that that, that uh, left turning lane. I mean, that was a difficult situation. It was a kind of a big intersection, got two turning lanes and uh, cars next to us. And uh, there was a lot of mud on the intersection and nothing was clear, to be honest. Even even for me, like having a quick look, I was like, where am I supposed to go? But yeah, like FSD is kind of acting very human-like as it improves. Does this weird thing over here where it changes lanes? I know this. I know this happens. It's a green light, so come on, buddy. I'm gonna give it a tap. Awesome. It gets a little bit reluctant to commit uh, when it's going head on on an intersection, especially when I bump down the autopilot speed. Gets a little bit wonky here too. All right, so it does car next to us there's a car behind us I'm just gonna bump up our speed a little bit here let's go a little bit faster oh nice so it sticks to this lane it's not really swaying that much so I'm glad all right just to wrap it up over here this is, might be our second last turn so yeah thanks everyone for watching I am hitting a thousand subscribers soon please 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 if I haven't already done, hit the thousand subscribers. Please like and subscribe to my video. It'll help me a lot. Um, whenever there's snow conditions, I'm gonna go out of my way to, uh, all right, I'm gonna give it a push here. I'm gonna go out of, oh, geez. Why did it have to mess this up? I forgot about this intersection. Just cause we didn't have snow for such a long time. So I used to do this very nicely. All right, so yeah, please hit like and subscribe to my video. It'll help me a lot. Uh, stay tuned here for the last turn and I'll be ending the video soon. 
harsh brake here for that car. I mean, the guy had lots of space. I don't know why you're worried here. <laughs> why are you worried so much, FSD? They just don't want to mess up. All right, detects a stop sign. Good positioning. Great stop. This intersection is kind of difficult too. Starts creeping. No cars left and right. And here we go. I hate that phantom break in the middle of the intersection. What are you trying to look for? <laughs> All right, I'm going to disengage and end the video over here. So thank you everyone for watching and hope you guys have a nice day.